Welcome once again to Spotlight Indian River, an opportunity for us to shine the big light, that spotlight, if you will, on various agencies, individuals, businesses, whoever is causing and infecting some great change here in Indian River County. That's what it's all about. I have two great guests with me today. I have Detective <laughs> Teddy Floyd, who is no stranger to the show. Welcome to the show, Teddy. I'm happy to be back. Good to have you. Yes, sir. And we have a, a newcomer, mm. uh, Pastor <laughs> Benny Ryan. Uh, he's the pastor at the Mount Sinai Missionary Baptist Church in Gifford. And welcome to the show to you. Oh, good to be here. Glad, good to have you. Yes, sir. And, and what, what I want just to be very informal, uh, that we can just share some information with the general public and let them know that there are agencies, there are individuals, there are businesses that are part of this big spotlight campaign. But, but mind you me, they are not doing this for recognition. They are doing it because they see a need and they're willing to step up with their resources to help individuals to have a, a more pleasant life. And that, that sounds good, a pleasant life. We're not, yeah. we're not trying to help you uh, to be a millionaire, but at least we're helping you to help yourself and hopefully you do the same thing for someone else once you get resources to do so. With that being said, I'm going to start with Detective Floyd. Uh, he's already in the Christmas spirit. Uh, what, 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 what's with the hat? Man, this is the best time of the year for me, man. <laughs> with everything that's going on in the nation, it is time to pull together, man. Show the smile. Put away all the grief that has happened. And just show unity and let them know that God care, you know, and we care. So this is my thing. I, I, that's why I love Christmas. The best time. And, and I'm glad you said that. It's a time for us to, to understand that things have happened in our in our United States of America, uh, in our state, uh, yeah. in our local communities. Yes. We're not trying to minimize that that particular happening, but we are saying how can we from that point move to another stage of understanding, cooperation, uh, listening to your concerns and you listen to my concerns and being able to walk away from that conversation mm -hmm. with some ingredients on how to resolve some issues. You know, from a law enforcement, our heart goes out to everyone in San Bernardino, even across the nation. Um, I think here, Freddie, we're, we're bringing the joy. This spotlight allows people to be able to know where to come and go and get help. I'm thankful that Pastor Ryan is here on the show because now it shows the unity in the community of what we're doing. It's Christmas time. Back in the day, we used to love the bells and and talking about it, mm -hmm. but now people have got that grim. We really not like you say. We're not not taking the light off of that. It is, but it's time to relax. Put mm -hmm. your head out and enjoy the holidays. Well, that's that's great. I'm glad to have Pastor. Ryan here with us because he represents the Pastors Association of yes. Indiana County. And being a pastor, I know that he, he confronts and see a lot of situations where a person needs various things, whether it's food, clothing, shelter, whatever, whatever it may be. And, and what I want him to do uh, as we prepare, we're going to take a break, but I want him to just think uh, about the ways that the Pastors Association Consortium, if you will, how they come together and are able to share best practices when it comes to various situations. Mm -hmm. Have to invent the wheel again. So if one pastor is doing something, some business is doing something, if they're doing something and it works, guess what? Let's find out what they're doing mm -hmm. and initiate it once again and That's right. avoid duplication. We're going to take a break and we're going to come back once again and talk to Pastor Benny Ryan, uh, give him a chance to gather his thoughts on how the Pastor Association is one of those components in our community that make things work. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after these messages. Join Marshall Little John nightly at 5 and 9 on ViroBuzzTV.com. Hi, I'm Carolyn. And I'm Jim. Together we are the Live Now Real Estate Team at Remax Associated Realty. We know the Sebastian area real estate market very well, and we also know that buying or selling a home can be very serious business. But together we can reduce the stress and even have fun in the process. Along with our hundreds of satisfied clients, we really want you to Live now and be happy too. Contact us at thelivenowteam.com. See you soon. We're back and I'm so happy to have with my guest, Pastor Benny Ryan, Mount Sinai Missionary Baptist Church pastor, and also a good friend of mine who's uh, no stranger on the show, Detective Teddy Florida, the Indian River County Sheriff Department. And, and I guess you say, well, you have law enforcement, which is enforcing the law, and you have 
spiritual enforcement, which is the church. Yeah. That's, that's a great combination. Mm. Best combination uh, you, you know, can get. It's mm. a good combination because we, we know that the law must be abided by. Yes. But we also know there are some moral laws that you must also, what, uh, abide by. And so with that being said, Pastor Ryan, tell me, I, I, this Pastors Association, tell me something about that. It's a group that was started by Pastor Brown and Pastor Jefferson, uh, Jesse Williams and others. They saw a need for the local pastors to come together. And the main part they wanted to do was to promote and support religious Christian services. We're looking at a time now that we're seeing things happening all over the world. But we as pastors, one of the things that we need to do is to educate everyone that this was the same way it was when Jesus came. Mm -hmm. Come on. The world was full of turmoil. Uh, there was uprising. Uh, the Romans uh, were the one that ruled. So they were looking for this deliverance, uh, this peace, which everyone is talking about now. And this is where we come in to show that f the Christian faith is relevant still because we are meeting challenges from the social media. Uh, in the Bible, we say it's the world. That is, there are different activities, things going on, and people say, is there any more need for God? Uh, we feel that these things will give everyone a desire to realize that there's help, and it is beyond the White House, it is beyond our legislators, but it lies in our spiritual relationship mm -hmm. with God. And this is most important. Well, well stated. And, and, I, and I like what you said. There is nothing new under the sun. Mm -hmm. You see the same thing that we're experiencing now, this turmoil and, and, and unrest. It happened in, in the biblical days. Yes. And so if, if God brought us through that time, he'll bring us through this time. But right. we have to what? First submit ourselves yeah. and be willing to what? follow after his, his, his doctrine. So that's very important. So the Pastor Association, uh, from that biblical standpoint, uh, does enforce uh, religious accuracy, if I can use a better term, making sure that you get the unadulterated word and what, what the ways of God are. Yeah. But they also know that they hear a stomach at growling. <laughs> they hear rain yeah. falling on your head for being homeless. They also look at the physical part too. Oh yes, yes. Uh we look at the needs in the community as far as uh, our young seniors needing scholarship support, but also we look at the benevolent side of it. That is, if someone uh, is in need yes. uh, as far as emergency, as far as their homes being burnt, uh, uh, emergency help as far as assistance uh, to get into a home. Uh, when we have the monies available, mm -hmm. we also assist in those areas. Okay. Oh God, see, it's time for us to go pay a couple of bills right quick. We're gonna take another break mm. and we're gonna come back and talk more about how law enforcement and spiritual enforcement go hand in hand. Stay tuned, we'll share that with you when we come back. Watch Chamber Buzz at 6 and 10 p.m. Mondays and Wednesdays on HeroBuzzTV.com. Bay Street Pharmacy in Sebastian invites you to see our new selection of holiday cards and gifts. For more than 30 years, Bay Street Pharmacy has been your neighborhood pharmacy and one-stop health care center, offering prompt personal service, home delivery, and a dedicated staff that treats our customers like family with care and compassion. Now we have wonderful cards and gifts for the holiday season. Bay Street Pharmacy, where caring people care for you. We're back once again, and I tell you, I, I'm just enjoying this conversation. Yes. I, I'm in the yes. middle, so I get something from both sides. So here, here we are again. We're going to uh, jump back over to Detective Floyd. And as Reverend Ryan was, was giving an overview of what the pastor was, was all about, and we talk about that theme, there's nothing new under the sun, tell me how can we move it to another level, letting people know that law enforcement, there's nothing new, new about it. And, you, and you're experimenting and looking for better ways to establish relationship. So that's the big word. How uh, is the sheriff department 
establishing new relationships with individuals who otherwise would not have any contact with them? Well, going back, it, it's simple. Going back to the days when they went grassroots, mm -hmm. getting out of those cars. Getting out and talking to Mrs. Adams or Mrs. Jones and finding out, knowing your community. Mm -hmm. Show yourself friendly. I think, I think I like the way Rev said, you need a winning strategy for a dying mm -hmm. world. We need that. And now people are running and doing their things. And they've lost a little faith in us because we've been bad. I'm not going to say that we haven't. Mm -hmm. But the thing is to renew that strength, mm -hmm. to know that I am there for you. We want to build hope. We want to give you. We're closer than we think in the, in the community. All we need to do is get out of them cars and, and, and the good leadership. I'm thankful for Sheriff Lord and his leadership to reach across the aisle and bind with the Pastors Association, mm -hmm. to join hand in hand with GYC, wherever there's a need in the community. And then it also starts in the hiring process, getting the right officers to fit the right neighborhoods to do what we need to do. That's fantastic because the relationship is very, very, very important yes and I, and, I, and I really commend Sheriff Lohr how he allow you the flexibility yes to intertwine and intermingle yes. in the community and I, I see with the hat on right now you're wearing a hat yes let, let everybody know that Christmas time yes uh, mm -hmm. is here and that it's yes. not Xmas no it's Christmas Christmas and it's an opportunity for us to show the kind love and compassion yes that was shown to us uh, by our father when he gave his only begotten son. So, Come on. So here you are with the hat on symbolizing Christmas. You know that that family is in need. Yes. And and, and by being in need, not only would you provide them uh, with toys, but also you let them know that if you need me for further things, yes. give me a call. I'm here so, because I can facilitate. Being in the great position of being a community officer, and just a police officer in general is knowing your community, mm -hmm. getting out and knowing what the need is. Mm -hmm. I used to tell the like, I know where the best sweet potato pie is. <laughs> I know that sometimes you can't eat, take your shoes off, you can't eat it, you got to eat that pie without it. Then you know where the best collard greens is. And then again, you just knowing the resources. I know, and I can say it as an officer, if I need help, I got them. Listen, mm -hmm. You're my mentor, mm -hmm. Rev is my pastor, and when you need to be able to reach out, people need to feel comfortable. I can reach out and touch. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying, there's, there's no boundaries. No boundaries. You're not saying, this is my box. Mm -hmm. I don't step in the law enforcement. I don't mm -hmm. step in, in, the, in, the, in the church uh, arena. No, no, no such thing. No such thing. As one gentleman was telling me a couple of weeks back, he said, he hear people say, you need to step out of your box. Mm. He said, no, we don't need to step out of the box. We need to throw the box away. Wait. We don't need the box. The box should not be in existence. There should That's be a right. moving, smooth transition from one point to the next point yes. to make our community to be the best that it can be. It is. I want to talk more about that when you come back because you, you struck a nerve when you talked about knowing your community. And I want yes. to talk to uh, Reverend Ryan on ways that the pastors are moving forth and knowing their community. So we're going to take another break and we'll be right back after these messages. Join us for an adventure weekdays at 4.30 and 8.30 on Buzz TV Network. The Furniture Man is a locally owned business that has served the needs of the community of Vera Beach and Indian River County for over 30 years. Here at The Furniture Man, we offer fine pieces to furnish each and every room of your home. Specializing in Floridian style, come browse our selection of bedroom, dining room, patio, and living room. Come explore over 10,000 square feet of showroom where you can find mattresses, recliners, sofas, dining, and more. Visit us at 673 US 1 in Vero Beach, Monday through Saturday, for all of your furniture needs. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Hi, I'm Penny Chandler. I'm, I'm Freddie Woolfork. I am Barbara Hoffman. And I'm Gregory Simpson. I'm here with Police Chief David Curry. You're in good company on VeroBuzzTV.com, Vero Beach's local TV station on the internet. I just love, love it. Tell a friend. Do you know your neighborhood? How well do you know your neighborhood? Do you know your neighbor? Yes. How many times have you asked someone, what's your neighbor's name? I don't know. What does that tell you? That tell you there is no relationship. When I see someone going in your home and I know you, and you know me, I'll be more apt to do what? Come and say, I saw XYZ go into your home. Mm -hmm. I saw Johnny take that bicycle out the yard. It's not snitching. It's simply making sure that your neighborhood is safe and a secure place to raise your children and to enjoy life. I have law enforcement here 
to help us to maintain that type of order, but also have a spiritual side to help you to examine yourself to find out morally, is it right for me to take which is not mine? So here we have two uh, experts in, the, in their various fields. And I want to get back to that part about knowing your neighborhood. Uh, pastor Ryan, tell me if you will, how do you as a pastor administer that type of message to the people that you uh, serve there in your congregation? How do, how do you go about doing that? Uh, we have discovered just like in a marriage, if you, there's no communication, Come on. that's where many problems begin. Yes. So we have to look at how we can communicate to each other and get an understanding, first of all, as to what is actually the problem. Mm -hmm. uh, Sometimes the problem is we are not sharing information. That's true. Or the information that you are getting is not the right information. Okay. Or either it's information that, in other words, basically lies. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, if we can't communicate, that is the greatest step. And with Jesus, whenever he approached someone, he sought to approach them where they were right. and began the communication there. So we, we as pastors have to do the same thing. We have a message, but first we have to communicate. Mm -hmm. right. And once we are able to establish this communication, then we can get our message across. In our communities, especially with the young people, we, we're running into this thing that Christianity is feminine. I don't right. know what he got this from. Yeah. That it is uh, for women. Oh. And, you know, we're missing out on a great deal of our males. Right. Because if anyone was a man, Jesus is definitely a man. Yeah, that's right. And uh, we, we have to clear up these, these uh, what they call old women tales mm -hmm. yes. uh, about uh, the church, the pastor, and uh, what we are there for in the community. I, I classify myself as a servant. I'm not there to draw a check, preach a sermon, mm -hmm. and go home. That's right. Mm -hmm. If I am not able to reach the masses, then I am not doing what the Lord want me to do. Wow, that, that, that says a lot because that goes back to your, your second part of that answer, understanding. Yeah. Yeah. Many people are, are being given information that is not factual, right. not true. And by the fact, you wonder where it came from, but you can't avoid or pretend that that misunderstanding uh, doesn't exist. You must tackle that problem and let that person know that this is the way it should go forth and not the way that you've been taught. So we have a, we got some work to do in that arena. Yes. Uh, we're going to take another break and, and, and come back again and talk a little bit more about this understanding because understanding, communication, relationship, well, yes. all goes together. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. See Arts in Depth with Barbara Hoffman, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 and 10 p.m. Stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics in downtown Vero Beach. Owner Patty Callahan prints it all, from color and black and white copies to blueprints, banners, signs, prints of paintings, and fine art. Patty makes restorations and creates outstanding graphic designs. Call Patty at 770-1521 or stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics at 2345 14th Avenue. Stop by for all of your printing needs at Patty's Printing and Graphics across from the old railroad station in downtown Vero Beach. We're back once again, and we were talking about a word that really stuck out, understanding. And it kind of reminded me of one time, uh, Detective Floyd and Pastor Ryan, it reminds me of three people in a household that are getting ready for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And as they were getting ready for Christmas, uh, the, the daughter and her mom were preparing uh, a roast. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, great, the grandma was in the back room, and, and mama said, take out the butcher knife and cut that roast in half. And so the daughter asked the mom, said, Mom, why am I cutting the roast in half? She said, I don't know. Mm -hmm. My mama used to do it, so just do it. She said, I'm going to ask Grandma. So she went in the back room, called Grandma out, and said, Grandma, why do we have to cut the roast in half, and why are we doing it now? Grandma said, I don't know why your mama doing it. Only reason I cut it in half because I didn't have a pan <laughs> big enough to put the big roast in. <laughs> See, understanding. Oh, right? yeah. It's all about understanding. Yeah. So, so once they understood that, guess what? The girl never cut another roast in half. Mm. She went and bought a pan that was mm. big enough. 
so they can cook it all at one time. Uh -huh. So that's what we're talking about here. These yes, people are following after what they've been taught, what a tradition is all about and what's been said. Yes. Now you need to break the tradition and get back to basic communication. I am so happy you made that analogy because of the fact in our community, police has been the taboo. You don't talk to the police or you don't. There you go. But listen, I, there's nowhere in the world that we can't. Rev's hit it on the head. Communication. But now, when you show yourself friendly, then you need to reach well. There are times when they were hostile, but when I, as an officer, knew I needed to make that contact, I got on out there. I wanted a piece of that sweet potato pie. <laughs> and I wanted them to know Teddy Floyd worked for you. That's right. So there's a way to do it. I think that we've gotten away from it, even with our young people, is being able to get on their level, mm -hmm. be able to communicate. Now, as we all know, there are babies having babies who are raising babies. Back in the day, it used to be, well, I know that if I, I got a whooping down the street, I got one all the way, and when I got home and my mama found out Mrs. Jones told her, I got another one. So now the village that we so to see that used to taste the village, we got to get the village back in order. But what can we do? We understand the problem. Here's yeah. the problem. It's the pink elephant in the room. We know it's there. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do to remove it out of that room? I think communication. He hit it. Rev mm -hmm. hit it. Communication. Mm -hmm. Then we need to start self-willingness to be able to know that I can Move prior if I need help. Mm -hmm. No matter that the community see this uniform, I'm still a man. Right. So I can reach out and I need help, Ralph. That's very important because if you show that you have concern, what, what's, what, what it is said in church like, in order to draw friends, you must first show, show yourself. yourself friendly. Show yourself friendly. Yeah. And, 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 and that's what you're doing yes. from a law enforcement side. Mm -hmm. That's what Pastor Ryan is doing from the spiritual right. uh, 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 church side. And that's what we have to do as, as a person who live in the community. Uh, we don't have all the answers. Nope. And that's why I wrote down here a little note to me. We need to somehow establish next year, start next year, mm -hmm. uh, as soon as possible, start planning uh, forums when we can bring in those young people yes. and let them vent yes. some of the things that they perceive as being uh, attacks against them. Because if a person perceives it, Guess what? It's reality right. now. Mm. Yeah. So we got to help to uh, eliminate those perceptions so that person mm -hmm. feels to himself, I, I want to express myself and, and, and I want to let you know this is how I feel I'm being treated. Mm -hmm. And once we do that, we can, we can get a prescription to give to that ailment. We're going to take a break and come back and we're going to wrap it up. But I want to really ponder on that. Yes. Where do we go from here? Yes. We know the problem. Let's eliminate the problem through communication and understanding. Yes. And we want you to think about it, too. So if you think about ways that we could resolve it, give me a call. 772-794-1005, extension 234. Give me a call. We'll talk about it and get something done. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Buzz TV Network is now the fastest growing new media outlet on the Space and Treasure Coast. Follow Buzz TV Network and tell a friend. Bay Street Pharmacy in Sebastian invites you to see our new selection of holiday cards and gifts. For more than 30 years, Bay Street Pharmacy has been your neighborhood pharmacy and one-stop health care center. Offering prompt personal service, home delivery, and a dedicated staff that treats our customers like family with care and compassion. Now we have wonderful cards and gifts for the holiday season. Bay Street Pharmacy, where caring people care for you. We're back once again with our final segment, My Does Time Fly When You're Having Fun. Yes. And it's serious fun. That's what I think I, I, I like about it. It's, it's fun because we're not afraid to talk about it. It's serious because change must come. And we were talking briefly about a gathering. Uh, one should be for the young people, another gathering should be for the adults, mm -hmm. and another gathering combined together. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that, Reverend Ryan? How, 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 how can we initiate something like that? One thing that I noticed that uh, we are trying too much nowadays to depend on technology. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we think the email can do it, the voicemail, we can fax, right. and we, we don't understand, in spite of all the technology, and in spite of cameras everywhere in certain areas, the main thing is we need to talk to one another. Good point. We need yes. to talk to one another. And I notice even uh, in our community, they are asking, why can't the past association do this or do that? And what they don't realize, 
Times have changed. Martin Luther King and the marching and the throwing up the posters don't work anymore. Mm -hmm. You need legal representation. Right, come on. Once you go down there and state your grievance, if they don't agree, now you have to get a lawyer. Mm -hmm. right. And this involves monies. And uh, many don't understand that this is what it takes. Mm -hmm. So if once we get that understanding, when we make a solicit for legal aid, then you know the community will probably be more apt to uh, join in and try to help us. But my concern still is a great deal with the young people. Mm -hmm. We realize unemployment is a big factor there. Come on. We realize that for some reason they have lost focus on education. Uh, uh, it doesn't take you going to college, but you do need to get that high school diploma. And I realize that there are jobs out there, have skill levels, that they are making more than people with master degrees. Mm -hmm. But you won't be able to do it unless you get the basic high school education, and then you'll be able to go from there. If we can get this across to our young people, I don't know what causing them to give up, but uh, we as pastors, feel like you know, they took prayer out of the school mm -hmm. yeah. and that uh, affected everything. But if we can reach our young people, th this, this is the dying need mm -hmm. to reach our young people. And the adults have to realize they don't know it all. Mm -hmm. they, different world, different world. They, they don't know it all. We run into too many adults feel like they know it all and they can tell this person what. But I tell you what, when I need help on the computer, I'm going to a little 10 year old child. Exactly. <laughs> they know it. They, they're the ones that have. Well, you hit it on the head. So we do need this gathering, and please keep your ears peeled when you hear about us coming together, um, probably at the Gifted Youth Achievement Center or at a particular church, or yeah. wherever you feel comfortable. Yeah. We want to give you that forum so that you can bring forth some of your concerns. I want to take this opportunity to thank Detective Floyd and Pastor Ryan for coming on the show today. Yes. It really means a lot. And we want you to give us a call again, 772 794 1005, extension 234 at the Gifford Youth Achievement Center. As we always say, you can either be a part of the problem or you can be a part of the solution. We want you to be a part of the solution. So until next time, encourage someone, lift them up. The only time that you look down on someone is when you're looking down to pick them up. See oh, yeah. You. Have a great day. Merry Christmas. One-of-a-kind videos, unique perspectives, original programming only on Buzz TV Network. Spread the word and tell a friend. Now that health reform is law, you cannot be denied health insurance coverage, but you can pay too much. As a single mom, I was convinced that we could not afford health insurance until I spoke to the people from ICANN, who told me that I qualified for a special enrollment and a subsidized rate. Now I get so much more for so much less. Call now and get the ICANN mobile app free. So don't wait another minute. Call ICANN, get covered, save money. Bay Street Pharmacy in Sebastian invites you to see our new selection of holiday cards and gifts. For more than 30 years, Bay Street Pharmacy has been your neighborhood pharmacy and one-stop health care center, offering prompt personal service, home delivery, and a dedicated staff that treats our customers like family with care and compassion. Now we have wonderful cards and gifts for the holiday season. Bay Street Pharmacy, where caring people care for you.